Hello everyone and I have a Masi chess game to show you uh, by Alexander Alehin and it was from a blindfolded chess simul from 1924 and his opponent is, is a chess player named Abraham Freeman. Let's see what happened in this chess game. This was a 26 board blindfolded chess simul from 1924 from New York, United States and let's see what happened in this chess game e4 by Alexander Alehin, e5 and then d4. This is known as the center game and then pushing the pawn, Danish Gambit. Danish Gambit declined. This is Sorensen defense. Capturing the pawn, queen takes on d5, c takes on d4, developing the knight, knight to c3, pinning the knight, and then knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to e2, and both players castled. Bishop takes on c3, Alexander Alehin in his notes, he didn't like this move and absolutely he was right. This is giving up the bishop and uh, this exchange is wrong, this is what Alehin said, as it strengths white's center. So white has a very strong center as you can see and black has nothing in the center and Alehin also didn't like this move in his notes. Alexander Alehin is charging with a tempo, defending the queen and then d5. Knight to e7, knight to d4, bishop to b7, bishop to b2, and then c6, charging the strong center. And Alexander Alehin played bishop to f3, c takes on d5, rook to e1. Of course, the d-pawn is pinned if capturing the c-pawn, if dc, then bishop takes on b7. So, rook over, and queen up, queen to d2. And rook over, queen to g5 by Alexander Alehin getting in and it looks dangerous. Knight to g6. Well, in this position, can you see what is the threat Alexander Alehin in his notes? He also mentioned the threat in this position. Well, let's play a random move. So can you see what might happen in this position? Uh, what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Can you guess the best move for white? Let me wait for 3 seconds. Okay, the move is knight to e6. This is what Alehin mentioned in his notes. And if capturing the knight, then bishop takes on f6. Of course, in this position, after in this incredibly strong move, both threatening checkmate and attacking the queen. So black has to capture and then bishop takes on f6. And threatening checkmate, the g-pawn is pinned. But this is, as you can see, this is losing, also targeting the pawn. And white has the superior position. And black is losing. This is almost resignable. So queen to g5, knight to g6. Knight to f5 by Alexander Alehin. Exchanging the rooks. D takes on c4 and black is ready for exchanging the bishops. Capturing, bishop takes on b7, rook takes on b7. But this is deflecting to rook. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Would you capture the knight? But can you see the reason why capturing the knight is losing immediately? Black captured back with the g-pawn. G takes on f6. And what happens if capturing back with the queen and preserving the pawn structure? It is white to move. What would you do? First, rook check. Blocking with the knight. And now can you see the move? Let me wait for 3 seconds. This is not so easy. If you want, you can also pause the video. So consider this as a daily chess puzzle. Then knight to h6. What a move. Well, you can't move the king because this is getting checkmated. So after knight to h6, capturing the knight with the queen is a must. And now can you see the move? <laughs> Again, final question. Rook takes on f8. Only move. Check. Mate. This is why bishop takes on f6 by Alexander Alehin. And after g takes on f6, queen to h6. But it looks like black is defending right on time. Okay, I have to ask you one more question. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? It's a very simple move. And after that move, black throw in the towel. He resigned.
Don't forget that this was one of the 26 opponents that Alehin was playing against simultaneously when he was blindfolded. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Can you do the same thing which Alehin did? Uh, in 1924 in New York against Abraham Freeman and against other 25 different opponents blindfolded okay so this is the move rook to e8 and black resigned because of this continuation this is pinning the queen but getting checkmated and if rook to rook goes back this is more aesthetic than queen to g7 is checkmate this queen is pinned and thank you very much for watching. Whatever Black does, Black is getting checkmated. And this was a masterpiece chess game by Alexander Alehin. A masterpiece. So thank you for watching again. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.